Hey Bears, Eric here, and I have to say, I am thoroughly enjoying this absolute meltdown. And this is, in fact, a meltdown <laughs> from conservative fandom grifters in this space over the Alan Richen interview. When I say this is, in fact, a meltdown, it's because they have done so many videos about what is essentially Alan expressing free speech, freedom of expression. They're having an utter implosion of their minds and it's quite entertaining it's actually very exquisite they're having an implosion of their minds because he is expressing free speech um if you're not caught up with this he was very critical about trump and maga pretty much condemned it uh he talked uh extensively about what he thought in regards to the catholic church stuff going on in there and trust me like honestly i'm shocked they're going in so hard considering that's all documented stuff and it was actually a lot of things happening but no, that's not enough. They don't care about any of that. You're, he's not allowed to talk about that either. And this is a man who is a very open Christian talking about this. They're, they're going in on that. He talks about police reform. He's, he supports BLM. Like he, he's all these things that he's been doing for a long time just happen to be in this interview. And they're losing their minds because their fave isn't faving anymore. It's giving. It's not you. It's me. I'm breaking up with you on a text message. That's really like essentially what's happening here. And it's really weird because again, this is pretty much just an argument about his free speech rights. And this community, what I'm talking about, the conservative community here on YouTube, um, they act like champions of free speech. But the reality is they don't actually believe that. For them, it's not about free speech. It's about people in the conservative spaces being able to say what they want to say. But if you're someone that speaks uh, alt to that, if you're an op, they don't want to, they don't want to give you that same or afford you that same luxury of free speech. I myself am also a supporter of free speech. Uh, where that gets a little muddy is that I also believe in accountability. So free speech, accountability, I think those things walk hand in hand, but I am absolutely 100% a supporter of free speech. Also, if you would like to make a difference with this YouTube algorithm that pushes a lot of this negative content to the top of the search features, and you want to diversify it, let alternate voices be heard in that algorithm, you can do so by subscribing to the channel and joining the revolution today. Leave a like, leave a comment down below. We're already seeing the impact of it. These channels are being affected and we're seeing less and less of that negative content at the top of search results. So we're making a difference. It is working. So please do that and check out my description box for more content creators that are also doing the same thing. So we're going to watch a video here from one of the dregs. This is the bottom of the barrel when it comes to YouTube. It's Josiah Rises, um, who is just sort of he, he, pretty much making content to make money off of outrage material. This is pretty much part of the course for YouTube at this point. Uh, but he's the bottom of the, like the ladder. Like you talk about like, like all the bosses ahead of him. He, he's at the very bottom, uh, but he's still trying. Got to give him credit for trying, I guess. Anyway, uh, his title here is Woke Actor Has Crazy Meltdown. Well, you know, he's not really having a meltdown. I mean, he's pretty confident in what he's saying. I think that bothers you guys a lot. You're the ones having a meltdown over him. After the police put him in his place. Uh, and so I'm not going to read the rest of the title. Anyway, it's a short video, three minutes and 45 seconds. Let's get into it, debunk it. And then um, there's a twist here as well. Hollywood actor and pretend tough guy Alan Richson gets absolutely destroyed by the cops. And it he doesn't really get destroyed. By the way, pretend tough guy. I mean, have you seen him? And then looked at yourself in the mirror i don't it feels like jealousy it's giving jealousy it is glorious and the whole thing with alan richson is that he is someone who has a very uh blm anti-police type of perspective when it comes to things that are happening in our society and our i don't know if he's necessarily anti-police i didn't really see any of that i know he believes in police reform and there's it's a very different thing but you want to say anti-police because you're speaking to your base and your base just laps up all of that stuff so yeah culture and uh well let's just say that all that completely backfired on him in the most hilarious way that you can think of he's someone who the most hilarious way we can think of i don't think that's true either um if this is your idea of, of like the most hilarious backfiring i got news for you you should probably go outside and expand your horizons a little bit he was a professing christian but when you start to actually look deep into his ideology you see that it does not come from a biblical perspective it are you really going to try to tell someone who has been openly Christian, outwardly Christian for a long time on YouTube and other places um, that he's not actually a Christian because he supports progressive things? And to be honest, that's kind of why we're in the position we're in now where people sort of draw allegiances outside of things they're, they're passionate about because they realize that, hey, if I believe in, say, for example, support the police, that's something that I believe in, but I'm not a Christian and I don't support Trump. Like, are you going to just shun them because they have to 100%
like tick off all the boxes for you? Or is there a space for someone who doesn't necessarily agree with every single thing you agree with? It's this tribalism that really has, in my opinion, ruined a lot of, of the things we have in this country and in the world, to be quite honest. And it, I just, it's so telling when you have someone like Josiah get on here and just kind of spout off quickly all these things um, and say, well, he can't be a true Christian because he doesn't support the police department or he doesn't support Trump or whatever the reason is. It's, it's just very telling to me. It comes instead from a very woke and Hollywood perspective. After Reacher star Alan Richardson made the claim that the police get away with doing uh, horrible things, including take the life of people all the time, the Fraternal Order of Police organization took some time to address the actor's inflammatory comment, encouraging him to mind his own business. And, the and that's the thing is we don't bow down to the police. The police work for us. That's what I don't understand. Regardless of, of like how you feel about the police, whether you're like, 100% pro-police, blah, 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 or you are big on police reform or whatever you want to say, however you want to put it. Um, regardless of that, the police work for us. They are servants of the community. Uh, so telling people to mind their own business, that's, a, that's not a good thing, Josiah. The way that they absolutely just obliterate him is just amazing. On this side, you can see in some of the, the replies here, another comedy boycott this clown's work. Nice lie on your shirt. Try researching facts. Yep, really enjoyed watching Reacher. Thought you were above this. Guess not. Another one of those. Addressing the image the actor shared on August of 2020, the actor told The Hollywood Reporter that was a tragic case. Cops get away with taking the life of people all the time. And the fact that we can't really hold them accountable for the improprieties is disturbing to me. So... What's inflammatory about that statement? I mean, whether or not you agree with the situation regarding uh, Breonna Taylor, take take that out of the equation for a second. I don't think there's any issue with anyone of us here who uh, live in this country wanting the police to be held to a standard. Like, I don't understand what the problem with that is. Are you suggesting that there are no provable cases of police corruption? That's just, that's, Ignorance and, and again, no citations from these guys. Like, bring up numbers. If you want to argue that that's not happening, then bring up some numbers and show us that it's not happening. I would totally concede to that argument if you actually provided it, but you're not going to do that. We should completely reform the way that we do it, despite the fact that there are always more and more limits to hold them accountable. Now, I agree. There should always be, there could always be better accountability, 100%. But saying this time. Oh, so you agree. So. So why, are, what is this video about then? I'm curious. Type of insanity is absolutely just wild to me. Well, Mr. Rich, what, what insanity you just agreed. You literally just agreed with him. So what insanity are we talking about? Josiah and gets his face and forehead powdered on set. Our officers are out doing a job. He doesn't have the courage to do. What are you laughing about? Don't you have a, a, a TV and movie studio? Do you not do, do you not have people, actors getting their faces powdered and stuff on your sets? What's so funny about that to you? Okay. Man, they just come right in swinging, just absolutely clobbering while he gets to hear loud pops and have blanks fired at him. Our officers feel the heat of the bullets as they, no shade intended, but did you like do a bunch of stuff before you got on camera? Is that what's happening here? Are you like, is there, should we be concerned, Josiah? Just. Just asking for a friend. Here's their skin. There are no take twos or take threes in real life, Mr. Richson. We have people who want to delete us and we play for keeps. Just another useless Hollywood actor virtue signaling for attention at the expense of brave police officers around the country. Go back to your pampered life and let the heroes handle this. So they overreacted to his interview. And that was based, in your opinion? Okay. Interesting. And then Alan Richson decided to respond to this. This kind of emotionally immature response is the epitome of what concerns me about law. Well, you know he doesn't sound like that, Josiah. So what is who's whose voice is this? Whose voice are you doing? I'm very curious. Um, yeah. Law enforcement today, if this is how leadership handles a peaceful disagreement, what does life look like for those unseen interactions in the street? Peaceful disagreement. You literally said that police are out there just taking the lives of people without any accountability whatsoever. And you agreed with him that there could be better accountability in this video, Josiah. You said that yourself. So do you disagree with him now? And it was peaceful. It was an interview. 
he was answering a question. That is a peaceful thing. Like, like it's like what we're doing here. We all talk about things. Would you say that this is not peaceful? So what was not peaceful about him responding about, you know, better police reform? That is what you said. Does that sound like a peaceful disagreement to you? Yes. He absolutely just went off on this with this extremely long novel that we're not. Oh, y'all wanted a twist, eh? Let's get sick, me. All right, so here's the response. This is from Occupy Democrats. They give a lot of detail about some of this stuff. It says, breaking superstar actor Alan Richson of Reacher fame hits back hard at the pro-Trump National Fraternal Order of Police for calling him a useless Hollywood actor who is virtue signaling for attention at the expense of brave police officers. So there we have it. Not only do they feel threatened by his statements, but they're also pro-Trump, and he said something negative about Trump. So that explains why they got in their feelings and decided to respond. This is a real showdown between good and evil. The deeply corrupt fraternal cop organization is infuriated with Richson because he said that cops get away with deleting people all the time and called for justice for Breonna Taylor, an innocent black woman who was killed by police. After the fraternal order, police posted online insulting and smearing Richson and telling him to go back to your pampered life and let the heroes handle this, he responded with a fiery post on Instagram. This kind of emotionally immature response is the epitome of what concerns me about law enforcement today. And he's absolutely right. If this is how leadership handles a peaceful disagreement, what does life look like for those unseen interactions on the street? How does this shape the character of the police officers looking to management? Do you really want individuals so easily angered and bully like school children to have a gun in the protection of an untouchable union? He added that there are many good and brave cops, but said that there can't be blind allegiance when it comes to bad cops because dangerous and fertile ground for fascism. There are rogue or ill-equipped officers who remind us that we need higher barriers to entry and stricter regulations so abuses are relegated to the past. To only seek praise and ignore this need is extremely unwise and endangers those at risk of being ostracized and marginalized. Not done there, Richen also tore into MAGA Governor Ron DeSantis for passing a law making it illegal for anyone other than the police to police themselves. This lack of transparency would be laughable if not so deadly, he went on. Efforts like these take on further from the world I hope to leave for my children, which is one with extreme prudence when deciding on who we arm in a glass house for public institutions, especially ones with the ability to end lives. Does that sound like somebody who's having a meltdown, somebody who has lost their marbles, somebody that is acting out of character or just going off the deep end? No, it sounds like somebody who has actually looked into this stuff, researched it, and formed their own opinion about it. Now, whether you agree or disagree with him, he should be able to say it. And organizations firing back at him, especially a police organization who does have an air of authority, coming back at a private citizen and saying those kinds of things is overreach. It's also weird to me that they're acting like Reacher has not covered corrupt law enforcement before. It was a storyline in season one and there's stuff in season two about it. So this idea that Alan Richson somehow never addressed this in any of the show Reacher is just baffling to me. It's covered in the show. It is an actual storyline. And if these people watch the show like they said they did, they would know that. But now I'm starting to believe that a lot of them are posers. They're faking the funk for their viewers and they didn't actually watch Reacher and they didn't actually watch Reacher, which is crazy to me because they act like this boycott is going to be a big deal considering they didn't really talk much about the show. It's not like they're fangirling out about Reacher uh, on their channels. They barely talk about it. This is the most Reacher content they've ever had on their channels. And all it took was for the actor to express freedom of speech. Imagine that.